So what we have here is a frequency generator. It's connected to what's called a wave driver. It's just a speaker. It's going to pump up and down at whatever frequency I set this guy to. When this guy pumps up and down, well, he sends a wave. He sends a wave down to this end. The wave reflects, comes back. Now, if I set it to just uh, any old frequency, let me just uh, turn this on. Well, yeah, let's go a little higher. So it's sending waves back and forth, but these waves are out of sync, if you like. They're, they're not exhibiting con consistently constructive or destructive interference at any one point. But if I set it here, for example, I have what's called a standing wave. That is, the wave that's, that's sent down and reflects constructively interferes with the next wave that comes down right at this point. Now the waves that reflect, that come down and reflect, destructively interfere with the incoming waves right here. And that's called a node. I can touch it and it still is working. So, the node is not moving. Here it's moving up and down, and here it's moving up and down. And we'll see that in a second with the high-speed camera. So here we have what's called the second harmonic. It's the second possibility for a standing wave for a string that's held at both ends. Because notice, this is a node, this is a node, and the middle's a node. So we have three nodes for this wave. Now, like I said, second harmonic, well, what's the first one? The first one will be half this number, so 8.5. And there we go. basically the scenario of a, of a jump. Now, I can find any of the other, harm, all of the other harmonics are multiples of this number. So, we just saw that two times this number was the second harmonic, or the second possibility. Well, if I go three times this number, I should get the third harmonic. Well, three times 8.5, I guess that was that around 25.5. And there we go. So that's the third harmonic. How many wavelengths is this? Well, it's one and a half. One and one half wavelengths. And it's easier to see in high speed. So check out this shot with the high speed camera and uh, verify for yourself that it is one and one half wavelengths. So again, third harmonic, one and a half wavelengths. Well, let's go to the sixth harmonic. The sixth harmonic will just be double this frequency. So we go up to 50. And there we go. That's the sixth harmonic. Beautiful. And it's six times the fundamental frequency, which we measured in the beginning to be 8.5 hertz. So check this guy out. We have. One, two, three wavelengths. And in the next video, the explanation video, we'll go through the calculations and the derivations.